morning and what a beautiful morning it is. So we're just south of Taupo, uh, still on the lake and um, as I showed, showed you before that is what we woke up to this morning. Got the back door open, had breakfast out. There's Mrs W there. So you might want to know where we've been living for the past couple of months and this is it. Probably one of the smaller camper vans you can get. <coughs> this one's from Travellers Autobahn but there are other companies out there doing a similar size van or even bigger if you want. Um, for example, there's a German made coach built camper there. But we find don't really need much more than this. I'll give you a guided tour. So because we're limited for space, um, we have to like, try and find places for different items wherever we can. So for example, we found behind the driver and passenger seat is a good place to put the chairs, outside chairs and the, and the table. And that just pops up like so. And then in the middle, the middle seat, we just leave like so. And it's just full of bits and pieces, handy little worktop here, cup holders, there's extra cup holders here. So the Toyota Hi Ace van we had in um, Australia as well, the same the same model. Actually, it was hired from Auto, Traveller's Autobahn and uh, no issues whatsoever with the Toyota. Um, this one we feel was a bit sluggish, more sluggish than the one in Australia, but I don't know whether we had the such um, high, steep um, roads in Australia as we had here, so it might just be struggling up the hills. So uh, automatic, aircon, no handy little places, sunglasses and things in there, where we normally keep cameras and uh, we never come away without our handy little pocket sized binoculars. <coughs> And then we've got the cupboard or the drawer, sp drawer space here for maps, uh, hats, USB point, and the radio isn't um, very good, so we've just got an aux cable there. So, come on in. <coughs> Excuse the dishes, we just had breakfast, as I said. So, up here, Handy little shelf which we've used for keeping books and things. Sonia's um, very good at keeping details of where we've been. It's handy for her blog, um, for the website, which is uh, www.vanlife4x4.com. Just drop that one in. So our toiletries in there, extra toiletries here, um, and these baskets we actually buy when uh, when we visit. So. Um, Hopefully they might come home with us, otherwise they're only a couple of dollars from uh, the warehouse shop. Um, tissues and things. Um, this one's got more dried food, breakfast, tea bags, coffee, a first aid kit at the back. Um, we did have other uh, plastic boxes here, but we should have just gone and got some cardboard boxes from the supermarket. Okay, uh, two burner gas hob and a microwave. Now the microwave you can obviously you can only use when you're plugged into electric, which means stopping on the site, which we are today. But we've just used it for storing extra things really. And the fridge just runs on 12 volts. So ideal. Keeps a couple of days worth of food in there. I've had no problems with it either here or our six month journey in um, Australia. This is um, where all the pots and cutlery and things are, so pans and things under there. And crockery, we also keep our bread in here. These are our um, water things for when we go walking. Another thing we don't come away with, probably two items that we always make sure we have in our in our case is a flask and normally it's this one because it's 
super um, super insulated and the other thing is the binoculars and we buy other, other items as well <coughs> these three pieces of extra um, I was going to say wood but it's not wood but good to make up the bed so you don't get much in the way of this you get three lights there's one there uh, one there and one in the back uh, you get one double socket for electric and you get one double socket for USBs and that is it uh, we can sleep free in this van so this pulls out as you can see these slide along here to form another single bed which our son uh, Bradley is, is used while we've been away in New Zealand and both Bradley and Alec came to Australia on separate occasions and um, stayed with us which is handy so during the day when the beds put away we keep all our bedding up here um, and then table and those three pieces of um, I'll call it wood go to make up the bed down here utilizing the extra cushions and under here the first item in the charger that's in one locker it was in the same one in Australia this is mine and coats so all my stuff and all coats and my backpack go in this one this one and again in Australia we used for just keeping things for the van so the fresh water uh, here we've got the wastewater hose the electric lead uh, we bought a heater which we've needed on several occasions <coughs> and under this side is just one table round <coughs> that's where Sonny keeps all her things and this is the only difference <coughs> between here and the one in Australia here um, this toilet now we don't go to the toilet in there we actually pull it out and it goes in this space here at night time when the bed's made there's just enough room for the toilet to go and that's compulsory if you want to use the freedom camps in New Zealand one of the compulsory items it's got to have a toilet now in Australia we actually bought a toilet which we just kept in this space here uh, during the day while we're traveling and at night time again we just moved it to here um, but and we kept our food in this one because it was handy to pull the trolley up to the sliding door and just empty the food straight into this cupboard here which we thought about doing here in New Zealand but with this cupboard having the toilet in we didn't really want to have move it and put our food in there so we've used this one for our food now because it's two days before we go home that's why there's very little food in there <coughs> um, so you have windows open on this side and this side and we utilize the curtain tracks or the curtain um, stays for hanging our things to dry so that's about it really um, by obviously this non-slip stuff so that we can keep things on the top while driving um, obviously within reason we don't keep glasses or things like that but um, you know, we can put things on there and while you're driving go around corners and things it just doesn't not move whatsoever so we've had a great time here in New Zealand like we did in Australia and if you ever come in yourselves then we highly recommend a the Toyota High Ace and B Travelers Autobahn um, really have no issues with them at all um, and you get what you know it, it might not be the tidiest might not be the newest but um, you know it is what it is so from a sunny taupo 
I'll leave you with this. <laughs>